And can we just unpack how emotionally intelligent um, children are these days? Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I was gonna rearrange the living room just now because I wanted to sweep off the rug and then vacuum it. And I said, you know what? Because I haven't picked you guys up in a little bit, I'm gonna do it on camera. My face is dripping, my eczema is just eczemaing. I'm gonna wipe my face off in the bathroom and put some Avino on there and then we'll do that. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. Today is Sunday. I decided to pick up a shift last night, so Saturday night and tonight, Sunday night, which means that I'm going to be working a seven day stretch without a day off. That was totally by choice because like I said, last night and tonight were supposed to be my nights off. This is my weekend off. So I'm going to work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday along with tonight and last night and I did work Friday and then I'm going to be off. Friday, which um, for me, I feel like it's something that is very easy for me to manage because one, in comparison to my old job, I'm doing a lot less hair, like it's more manageable. And two, I literally come home every day and I sleep. This morning, they wanted somebody to stay and do a double. Had I stayed, they asked me, had I stayed, I would have had the opportunity to do a one-to-one, -one, which would have made the day a little bit easier on myself. But I just decided that since I'm coming back tonight, I'm going to come home and take all the rest that I can get. And I kid you not, I fell asleep at nine and I woke up at three. So that was a good stretch of sleep too. Obviously because it was such a good stretch, I'm not gonna be able to go back to sleep tonight. It is currently 4.53, but I also do feel like I am well rested. And I also do have a time where I could still go to sleep at like six o'clock, which is in like an hour, and still sleep for like another hour or so. I bought this oil on Amazon. This is the Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength and Length System. No Way Down. Seven Oil Blend for your hair and scalp. For weak bro breakage prone hair. My hair isn't weak or breaking. Like I said, my, my natural hair is the healthiest my hair in general has ever been. But um, with this, oh, that smells good. Because God knows if it's going to be in my head, it's, you know. So I'm going to just oil my scalp. And we'll see if I like this. Because I quite like making sure that my hair is properly moisturized. Because I'm able to see the difference in my hair when it is properly moisturized. It looks more healthy. But yeah. Um, I spent most of the time since I've been awake um, reading a million messages that my very emotional 12-year-old sent me and can we just unpack how emotionally intelligent um children are these days i can't remember being that emotionally intelligent when i was 12. so love that for her but as a result of that i'm i'm having to address a lot of things pertaining to her emotions a lot of the times i feel like the most rewarding job i've done so far is being a mom i would never 
change anything about being her mom, honestly. Mom, yeah. So I spent most of the time since I've been awake going back and forth with her about her emotions and her grandmother about her emotions. God. As I'm drinking the water, I feel like during the daytime, I'm not up for long enough to be able to be properly hydrated. And at night, I'm too busy, so I'm also not properly hydrated, which is so annoying. Because I can literally feel when I'm... I, I can literally tell when my body is, like, parched and I need to be drinking water. So lately, I've really been trying to drink more water, like last night. I had a graham cracker up here. Where is that? that's gone I was gonna take it to work later I literally love ramen I go through these periods every now and then where I'm eating a ramen a day love ramen and I'll put like the Jamaican soup mixes cock soup in there sometimes when I'm making it so so good pretty sure these are old My goal for this um, snack cupboard was to make sure that I consolidate it. It was so full. Right now, I'm so very proud of it because it's practically empty. Yesterday, I stopped by the Walgreens and I bought these. So good. And of course, I bought some ruffles. These are my absolute favorite. These are so these are kind of salty though. When I when I eat this, I have to drink a lot of water. But yeah, um, I don't have any housework to do today. Which is, um, I mean, I have to take the trash out. But in terms of like cleaning or whatever, now because yesterday I cleaned the bathroom. My memory serves. I slept and vacuumed a couple of days ago. Oh my gosh, you guys, my snake plant is thriving so much. Let me show you guys. I put it right here. I feel like it is thriving so much. Oh my god, one of the leaves. Oh my god. Okay, wait, maybe it's not thriving. Because what? I don't know, the dirt kind of looks weird. I really want this to stay alive because I absolutely love it. One of the leaves I had to break off, like, this portion of it that was, like, looking like it's gone dead. The rest of it is standing up, but, like, that piece is falling over. Then I have this other little one here, which I love. I'm so proud of this one. I, I mean, the dirt feels moist. I'm trying to figure out to, like how to know when it's time to like water them and stuff like that but this one is thriving i think it has even grown a little bit i'm gonna look at the picture that i took when i just got it and like now but there they are love that i'm supposed to be there's this man that is supposed to be dropping off some things that my mom had sent maybe about a week ago at this point for me so i need to see about collecting that but for the most part i'm just here i'm gonna own my hair and basically just relax. I have some food here. I'm going to eat for dinner tonight before I go to work. It's also food in the fridge that I could eat. Because maybe I'll need to add something to that. But these days I've really been just taking pride in <laughs> taking pride in being very intentional about eating when it's closer to the time to go to work. So when I am at work, I'm not hungry. And also, what's the other thing? Making sure that I'm well rested. And... Sometimes that looks like falling asleep later in the day to make sure that when it's closer to the time for work, I'm just waking up so I feel well rested, you know? And that has been working out. So far in the mornings when I come from work, I don't feel like I'm dying of like a lack of sleep. But today was a little bit different because yesterday I didn't sleep that much. I ended up hanging out with one of my friends from high school and we were just chopping it up for a little bit because we hadn't seen each other in a good little minute so we just chilled and talked and like got some coffee which is what we'd normally do when we'd normally chop it up so that was great so like i said i'm gonna oil my hair and just basically relax i have it in this little little bun so i'm gonna take care of that and just relax for the rest of the evening 